Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And this is my first impressions look on the Nike Cosmic Unity. So this colorway is actually going for 160 bucks. The green glow colorway was going for 150 bucks. So I, I, I don't really know what the exact price is. I, I feel like the GR release is going to be like 150 bucks. So pretty much the same price as the KD 13s. So if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. This colorway is available. The Air Mag colorway is coming out in a couple of days and then the green glow colorway is coming out a little bit uh, after that as well i mean they had a initial release of the green green glows but then like i couldn't i couldn't get a pair so um that's why i got this pair uh, that's why this uh review is a little bit late um but anyways uh let's get it started off with the tractiones right so the traction we have full-on herringbone and uh, it looks pretty damn nice right does it feel pretty damn nice not really on my wood floors right now uh, maybe it's something that i need to break in or something but uh we'll have to see on that uh, i mean it's not a terrible bite but it just doesn't have like a really really great stop like the kd13 so i'm a little worried on the stop there and as far as durability goes durability does worry me a little bit as well the, the herringbone is actually a little thin and it's very pliable so uh, it's pretty easy to move with my finger so that has me worried a little bit i feel like it's gonna fray off pretty easily and uh, maybe even rip off pretty easily as well but we'll have to see on that i'm gonna be playing with this on outdoor court and then here in the middle of the outsole we have nike what just says nike and it says 2021 underneath that with a midfoot chink plate you know it kind of comes from the midfoot and goes all the way here into the heel and it says air zoom strobel uh, moving on to the heel to toe transition it's okay you know here in the heel we have a pretty nice curved shape which feels nice the forefoot is pretty flat though so um i don't know what they were doing with that uh but it's not terrible and then here in the forefoot we have a good amount of flex pretty damn easy to flex here so a uh, overall heel to toe transition feels a little bit better uh than the kd13 actually you know if you guys remember remember the kd13 here the rubber comes up all the way right so it's a it's a little clunky here in the cosmic unity the uh, the rubber doesn't really cage anything you know we have the foam which is it's crater foam it feels a little bit smoother so far here in the heel all right moving on to the cushioning setup the cushioning setup is super nice as you guys all know they're using a full length zoom strobe unit here in the cosmic unities pretty much the exact same unit here in the kd13 and it feels awesome uh it's bouncy it's right underneath your foot uh, one thing I will say though, comparing it to the KD-13, is that it's actually lower to the ground. It feels a little bit lower to the ground than the KD-13 for some reason, which is a good thing. And like I mentioned before, we have foam. Uh, they're using crater foam, and I, I thought it was going to be nice, you know, like in the Space Hippies. When I got the Space Hippies, it's, ooh, it's like a blend of a whole bunch of like uh, foams that they recycled, right? Crater foam isn't that nice, you know, there's not a whole lot of compression. You know, but I, I would say like foam is better than just rubber, right? So that's a little plus there, but I don't expect a whole lot of compression from the actual midsole. But I, I guess it's not a huge deal because you have that full length zoom unit right underneath your foot. Uh, the insole that they're using is also pretty much the exact same insole that they're using in the KD-13. It's, it's a really crappy like styrofoam material. It literally feels like styrofoam and uh, I, I don't really like it, you know, uh, comparing it to like maybe like an ortholite insole, you know, an ortholite I feel like would be better or even like an Adidas paper stock insole would be better because if you think about it, the paper stock Adidas insole is just super thin, you know, so it doesn't really give you a whole lot of cushion or whatever, but then you can feel what, whatever's underneath your foot, you know, like the strobo board or whatever. So that would have been nice here. But then the 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 styrofoam insole in the Cosmic Unity and the KD13 is just like more stiff. So for me, I had to break in the insole just a little bit. I mean, it takes like just like one game to break it in, to be honest. And you can feel the zoom in it right away. But I just wish they would use like a softer or even just like, like a thinner insole. Uh, but that's just a little minor thing there. The cushion feels awesome with the full length zoom strobe unit. All right, moving on to the materials. So they're using a recycled material and uh, this entire shoe is actually 25% uh, recycled material by weight, which is great. You know, of course we're moving toward a more sustainable future, especially for shoes. So that's dope that Nike is doing that. Uh, so here in the toe box, it's actually, okay, so it's, it's kind of weird, right? So it's really soft. But then like when I press my finger into the material, it kind of just like stays in place. So it's like, it doesn't conform to your foot that well, you know? So when I'm like walking and then the material kind of bends, 
this part kind of digs into the top of my foot, like basically on top of my toes. It doesn't hurt, but it's just a little uncomfortable feeling right now. Uh, but I feel like it, once I break it in, and I don't think it's gonna take that long to break in, uh, it'll get a lot softer and a lot more comfortable. But right now it doesn't feel the best. As far as how thick the material is, uh, it's it's actually, it feels a little thick, especially with these like wire, it, it looks like fly wire kind of, you know, like over the material. And it definitely feels maybe even like twice or three times as thick as a KD-13. So uh, this material definitely feels a little bit more cozy and definitely a lot more premium. But it, right now it feels a little bit stiffer than I would like. But like I said, I feel like that'll, that'll break in, you know? Um, here in the ankle collar, it's more of just like a textile material with a little bit of foam. And then here in the heel, we have the crater foam coming up a lot with this like hole here in the back course acting as an external TPU heel counter and we have this enlarged swoosh that kind of goes over the crater foam here in midfoot as well as here in the heel which is pretty dope. Here in the tongue we have a neoprene like material with a whole bunch of holes in it so uh, hopefully ventilation is good but I don't know we'll have to see on that but uh, th there's a good amount of padding it feels nice here at the bottom of the tongue as well as here on top of the tongue you know the tongue has a good amount of padding it feels very soft and very cozy and same thing goes with the the padding here in the ankle area although there are no achilles pads you know the foam kind of makes up for it and uh, gives you a good amount of padding there too so uh, the materials i feel like it's actually pretty damn nice uh, it's a little bit thicker just a tiny bit thicker than i would like but overall it's really nice and then uh, for the laces, uh, they're probably using uh, recycled materials as well. And for the eyelets, we have some flywire-like cables, uh, which I don't think go down into the materials, but um, no, that's okay. And then here on top of the tongue, we have a this plastic material. It's also probably recycled material, and it says Nike. All right, moving on to the fit. Uh, I went true to size and it fits me very well. Um, it's actually quite snug here in the toe box. I can kind of curl my toes a little bit, but not all the way. Here in the KD-13, I can't curl my toes at all. It, that's how tight uh, the fit is here in the toe box. Uh, it's a little bit looser here in the Cosmic Unity, but it's still snug. So watch out for that if you like to have a, a looser fit in your shoes. Also, it, I would say it's uh, slightly narrow. You know, I can definitely feel the crater foam here on the side of my foot and it's, it's, it's squeezing a little bit. It's not to the point where I, I'm losing blood flow to my foot, but I, it just it's pushing on the side of my foot a little bit, so also watch out for that. One thing that I like about this shoe though is that it's easy to put on with this high heel tab. All right, moving on to supporting lockdown, I don't think I'm gonna have any issues <laughs> with lateral containment. As you guys can see, the crater foam comes up in the forefoot, in the midfoot, and here in the heel, and it also acts as an external TPU heel counter, so lateral containment i feel like it's gonna be good and the material feels very very supportive and also if you look around the perimeter of the material you have an extra like cloth that's stitched around the perimeter which is interesting i don't know why they did that but you know it's there maybe it adds a little bit of rigidity to the material but i don't think like that much but lateral containment i feel like it's going to be good and lateral stability there's really no outrigger but you guys can see how much the midsole and outsole protrude out here on the lateral side in the forefoot so uh it feels very laterally stable too one thing that i will note though is that i have a little bit of heel slippage and I it doesn't feel like terrible right now, but I, it doesn't feel good. And I wish the heel felt a little bit more locked down. Like if you look at the padding here in the ankle area, it reminds me a lot of like Hardens, you know, or like Adidas shoes in general, where they just have foam here in the heel, right? For example, if you look at the Zoom Freak 2, the Zoom Freak 2 has padding on top of the ankle. And then that kind of like hugs your Achilles. And as you guys know, uh, the heel is more like a ball and then your Achilles here. So it kind of like, prevents your heel from going up out of the, the the shoe you know so that creates for good lockdown in the heel but if you look at the cosmic unity or any adidas shoes or most adidas shoes it's just the foam that kind of goes straight down so it doesn't really like lock your heel down that well so uh, that kind of sucks but hopefully uh, once I break in the materials in the shoe uh, it'll get a little bit better all right moving on to the weight of the shoe I don't know I feel like it's gonna be a little bit heavier than average maybe yeah, so 13.4 ounces, uh, it feels, it doesn't feel super heavy, but it feels a little bulky, and I guess like average weight, you know, uh, even though it's a little bit heavier than average, it doesn't feel like super heavy, it's just like the bubbling here in the heel, and then they have a lot of padding, and like I said, the, uh, the material isn't like super thin, so it feels, you definitely feel the shoe, uh, as compared to the KD-13, the KD-13 is like 12.5, I think, 
Yeah, 12.45 ounces. So uh, the KD13 definitely feels a lot more minimal on foot uh, as compared to the Cosmic Unity. Um, but you know, that's not a bad thing. We'll have to see how it performs, you know, how good the traction is, how good the lockdown is and all that, because that all factors in to how responsive the shoe feels as well. Uh, moving on to the aesthetics, I love the way the shoe looks. Um, I love the bubbling for some reason, and uh, I, I, I love the placement of the swoosh and the materials look dope as well. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this colorway. I like the Air Mag colorway a lot better you know, or the green glow, but um, I guess this one's okay. So uh, tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, my first impressions of the Cosmic Unity are really, really nice. You know, um, uh, there are a few things that I don't like that much, you know, but I don't think it's like a, a deal breaker yet. Uh, and that's the heel slippage. And I guess like the overall bulk uh, and thickness of the materials. And uh, like I mentioned, it's not, it's not a huge deal right now. And I feel like uh, the pluses of the shoe uh, will far outweigh those cons right now just from what i've uh, tried on so far so anyways that's my first impressions look on the cosmic unity again if you guys do want to cop i'll leave a link in the description box but that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one